All right, guys, so I'm back to talking about this NAR settlement, and I'm trying to put this into digestible pieces. So today I want to talk about the people this settlement could hurt the most, and guess what? It's not realtors. So the first group of people I want to talk about is someone I've represented a lot over the years because I'm part of the Homes for Heroes program, and that is our veterans, people that are using VA loans. Um, typically, they are putting 0% down, as the loan program entitles them to do, and they usually make that choice so they can put some cash in reserves, or they simply don't have cash. Uh, buyers cannot directly compensate their agents, which is literally what's being proposed as part of the settlement. So we are not quite sure yet what's going to happen with VA buyers. Now, they could take a little bit of a seller's concession, but on those loans, there's very strict limits on what those concessions can be. So we're not quite sure how veterans are going to be helped in this settlement. Okay, number two uh, along those lines is buyers with uh, little to no cash reserves. Buyers agents compensation was previously built into the sales price of the home and now the buyer has to directly compensate the agent. They may not be able to roll that into their mortgage. Again, they could try for seller's concessions, but it's gonna involve what loan program they're using and what other concessions they're taking already. It could be from inspection repairs or an agreed upon thing to help them with closing costs. There's nothing left to compensate their agent and that would have to come out of pocket. So guess what? Maybe those people can't afford the house anymore. All right, and last but not least is gonna be an interesting one and you're gonna say, Craig, that doesn't make any sense, but it's sellers. So the settlement involves sellers not paying buyer's agents anymore, but I just told you about two classes of people that we're not sure how they're going to be able to afford compensating a buyer's agent and making their down payment with a mortgage these days. So if sellers are whittling down their, their pool of buyers, are they really going to fetch more on their house? Um, that to me is the one thing that's really not being talked about because now... Sure, sellers can save 2.5% on commission, but listen, sellers have gotten a little spoiled over the last few years. Like, it's not every house that has 20 offers, So, but now it's not going to be 20 offers, it's going to be 10 offers. And all those people I just mentioned can no longer afford the house. So, But what about the homes that are only getting one or two offers, and one of those offers is an FHA loan or VA loan or someone with a 5% down payment that can't afford to pay their agent? Well, guess what? They can no longer buy the house. So will it help sellers um, in, in the most slam dunk cases where you got the most beautiful house in the neighborhood? Sure, nothing, maybe nothing changes there, but in those houses where you only have one or two buyers and there are people that may not be able to afford the nicest house, they need to get you know, a house that needs a little work. And previously they would just use a VA loan or an FHA loan or a renovation loan, and now they can't because they can't afford to pay their agent anymore. So the sellers get hurt because now the house is gonna sit because the most premier buyers are taken care of but not the other buyers. Something to think about as we continue to hear more on the settlement.